All right. Ray Ankrum here. Got my uh my my college students. I like to, well, actually you guys are college students because all of you are in college. All of you are uh on Church. the uh or at Suffolk Community College, correct? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So I, I guess first question, right, for whoever wants to jump in is how do you feel like um your your high school classes differ from the classes that you're taking that suffer? Definitely more academically challenging. Like I would say my st my stats um class, at least for me personally, is a, it's a bit more rigorous than the um the pre-calculus class I took last year. I think it's that like um that college level setting. And um, there's also like the limits of how it's like an early college program since it's like in the morning and then we had to get back for, to to um, the school. So it's hard to like uh, managing out like office hours. So a lot a lot of um, it is on me rather than me like going the next day and then like, um, you know, talking with the teacher easily for like throughout the day. I only get like a few times since it's like Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, yeah. There's, definitely yeah. More, there's definitely a lot more freedom in it. I definitely have a lot more control of my own education. Like I get to pick my classes. I, it's really like you get what you put in. So I can control how much I'm going to learn, how much work I'm going to get, and how much I'm going to get out of it. Um, I kind of like that. I like that freedom where I kind of have that free choice. And there's also a lot more time for like studying, whereas in school it's more like you have strict like blocks and then you have a few time at the end of the day to work on anything you had left over. But Yeah, and I think one thing as – like as a high A student, A plus student, I had to learn. But what is it worth? First off, time out. What? What? What is it high? What's a high A A plus student? What is that? Ninety five up. All right. You know I mean, but as somebody who's used to getting that type of grade in high school, you have to learn. You might not get it in college, and that's all right. Like for example, I'm taking history, Western civilizations, ancient Europe, and yeah. it is very difficult. I have a B plus in the class right now. I have one more test so I can get that A, but I had to learn, look, it's all right. It's not going to be as easy as, you know, just doing the lesson and taking the test and getting an A. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, more rigorous. But like they all said, like, it's freedom. It's, you know, it's like you really are learning how to manage your time with assignments and different things. So when we get to college, I'm, I feel more prepared than if I didn't do this. Yeah, fair enough. So, but but so so with an early program like like this, like Suffer Community, right? Th does do you feel like in any way it helps to steer you towards the classes that you may want to take uh, in college? Definitely. Yes. Yeah, I've I've sat in in a class and been like, I this isn't for me, and then I've also <laughs> sat in like say you know, more, say more. <laughs> I just just you know the teacher's going and she's like ask questions and you don't even know what to ask like yeah. I don't know where I'm lost but then I've been in in classes like my English classes where it's you know my thing is discussing and dissecting literature and yeah. and just talking about what what that like how we relate that to our personal lives so yeah. class-based discussions and and places where I can put in I can put my input in yeah. I really like so like that's been super beneficial and I've been able to, it feels like a trial run. Obviously yeah. I'm doing my best yeah. um, and I'm trying to excel, yeah. um, but it does feel like I'm getting the opportunity to sort of move around a little and not yeah. feel constricted. And because we are sponsored, yeah. like there's, there's this big push to, to do whatever you want to sort of meet your needs, which is really oh, when you say when you say sponsor for, for the folks that are listening, like what, what does that mean? What does that entail? Um that means that we all have we go to Suffolk for free, like this like our school pays for it, Riverhead Charter School pays for it. And in return, we do our best and we pass the classes and we get high B's, A's in these classes. Um and that's really cool. And I do appreciate it because it's like there's this responsibility to to put in the work to represent yeah. yourself and the school, but also like you again, you've got that freedom and you can move around and explore. Yeah, yeah it's a free trial. Yeah, <laughs> you want to get out of that free trial before you. Actually like, I don't know, this free trial thing, right? But like, but what I will say about this, right, is that what makes it what what makes me uh, a little bit 
uh, what would I say? Um, what makes me happy and excited about um, having the opportunity for this trial to occur is the fact that you guys are passing your classes, right? So, like, it would be one thing if we went into the situation and we had like all these failures or whatever because kids just weren't ready to take college level classes. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's kind of like a tribute to the preparation that you guys are receiving. Uh, from grades K to nine in order for you to be ready in order to go into a college setting in, in grades 10. So it's it's a twofold, right? It, it's a tribute to your hard work, but it's also a tribute to the teachers and their hard work as well. Um, I guess my next question is, um, so thinking about like how you walk into the classes and how you um, see certain subject matter and how you interpret and, and like analyze, um, are, you, are you starting to see like, your need for a smaller classroom setting as opposed to a lecture center setting? Like, how, how is that working for you? I definitely, for my classes, I definitely liked my in, more like smaller in person classes than the big lecture halls, sitting in the back and like sitting in a big room with 100 people all looking and just listening to one professor didn't really feel like learning. Um, it felt a lot more fun and interesting when I had a teacher with like, 20 kids and that we were asking questions and being able to interact with each other and other students and the professor. Whereas with the big lecture, it's just like, you kind of sitting there taking notes and I just mindlessly type away. So I just like, it's harder to retain what I learned when I'm not being able to talk in my class. Fair enough. Anybody else? Yeah, I agree. You can go share. Oh, it's okay. No, <laughs> but okay. Um, for me, I did a lecture class and I also did like the more small in person. And I thought I wouldn't be able to handle a lecture class because I like more like personal stuff, like more close where I can ask the teacher a question right there and then. But I I had to learn differently with a lecture class, which I also appreciated because that way I was able to figure out new study techniques that worked for me specifically. Right. Yeah, I love that. Uh, well, speaking about those study techniques, what what were some of the techniques, right? You, you're you giving game to people right now. What, what were some of the techniques that you learned? One that I use, I think is called like Cornell notes, where okay. you, you wouldn't necessarily write like everything down, but there are like some main points of like a slide or what the teacher says, you would like summarize in your mind. And something that um I took from these classes, it's like mostly it's like when you're doing the test, you have to like explain to yourself how to do it so you have to like explain to yourself like what this is what does this mean how does this relate to this and it's like you're talking to someone who has like no knowledge so that's how i would usually write my notes it wouldn't be like super detailed some of them would be like um very concise and straight to the point but then there would be bullets that like talk about the pacifics yeah, yeah. and my, i think that really helps with like note taking so i don't have to waste so much time my lecture class right now the history 101 class um my note taking is very like whatever he says i like to like they say kind of summarize but i'm more like like ben said i'm more of like a mindless typer and then once i finish once the class is over i would like to go over and bold out the things that i actually care about anything that he's actually going to like that he wants us to memorize i'm going to go back and bold out on my own behalf that makes it so when i go back to study again i'm able to like really hone in on certain things not everything that he said but I also, I say in any class, have a good friend group, have a good person that's also in the class with you, because when you have that, y'all can just have conversations, especially in those humanity classes, like a history or even English, having someone you can talk to about the class as if it's happening today. Like I know no, me and Noka are taking history class. We talk about the things that happened in the 1300s as if it happened today in class. Like it's and it helps so much. You helps you a lot when you want to memorize and retain the information for the test and essays you have to write. Yeah. yeah. One, Thanks for sharing that. One little thing I feel like I do want to put out there: everyone is so against eight AM classes. Um, <laughs> they genuinely like try it out for a semester. Take an easy class because it it's like such like a great way to start your day. Like you feel I felt I feel very productive. And it like sort of sets the tone. Like once you're in the class and you know you have to pay attention, you're kind of in it, you know? And so for me, it sets up the rest of my day. Like I, you know, once I graduate high school, I'll probably be taking 8 a.m. classes just because it's what works for me. So don't knock it until you try it. Right. Just because 
it it definitely works for me. I, I think I think the difference is is that when you get to college, you have like a certain level of liberation. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, ah, I'm an adult now. Yeah. I don't want to wake up early anymore. But when you're in high school and you're taking these classes, it's a little bit different because you're getting up at seven, six o'clock, some of you to get to school anyway. So it's like you kind of have to be a, a morning person, right? Yeah. But I, I, I'd like to continue to be a morning person just because I get the most done. Yeah. Right. I love that for you. Thanks. This is 